babies so today we're working with this four by four inch closure wig it is 250 percent density and 28 inches so this is how the hair looked straight out the package um before the bleaching before the plucking you know yeah this is what it's given but we're not gonna leave it like that so I'm going to take my Evan Lace Spray and I'm going to spray the front of the closure. You probably don't need that much, but you know me. I be a little heavy handed. I need to stop doing it. Um, but I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just going to brush all those flyaways back. That way that while I'm bleaching the hair, it doesn't get on any of the extra flyaways. Or, you know, just over bleach to a point where it goes like through and it gets pieces of hair, you know. So I'm just pushing all of those baby hairs back. So now I'm going to place it on my wig head. And y'all, like, <laughs> that ebon glue was so sticky. Like, it was sticking to me. The I had the closure stuck on my fingers, y'all. It was bad. But I'm just going to take some T-pins, and I'm going to pin the closure to my wig head. And like you see on the closure, like, everything is pushed back. So now, you know, we good. So I went ahead and made my bleach. Um, you want to make sure that it's really thick if you want to see like how um, I did it like with the developer and the powder like your perfect mixture I made a TikTok, and I'm also gonna post it as a, um, a YouTube short that way that you can see and like hear what I'm saying because you have to really listen but yeah I can get that out to y'all but um, I just had to switch the angle because I had to show y'all from the top what I was doing but I'm just taking that bleach because you want it to be this thick, like really, really thick. So I'm just taking the bleach and I'm spreading it onto the closure. But I don't want to press in too much because you don't want the bleach to like seep through the lace. And then it's really going to, you going to have over bleach knives. It's not going to be good, sis. So I'm just going to take all this bleach and just spread it around like this is some toast and the bleach is some butter. Once I'm done spreading that bottle, I'm going to set me a 25 minute timer and I'm going to let this sit on the head for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, I went in with some like warm water and I went ahead and washed all that bleach out of the wig. Now at this time, you can wash the wig, co-wash the wig. Um, you can use silicone mix if you got like a different texture of hair. Whatever you want to do, Buki, you can do that. Um, 
a lot of people like to co-wash hair just because you don't know where this hair coming from, girl. Like, it could be dirty. It could be anything. So, you know, this is the perfect time for you to start doing that. So, after that, like, you see you see that brown? You see that brown? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm going to take this Shimmer Light Shampoo. It is a purple shampoo. So, you can use, if you ever over bleach or not, you can use purple or blue shampoo to um, tone it down and keep it from having that, like, yellowish, blondish undertone and it'll bring your um not back to like normal so i'm just taking this purple shampoo and i'm just really scrubbing into that lace to make sure that i'm getting all of that bleach out of there and also making sure that i'm running through the closure just in case anything did get over bleached i just want to make sure that i tone it down and bring it back to a natural scalp looking color while i'm at it i also just kind of bring that shampoo down to the rest of the wig and you know just run my fingers through it and this is kind of like my co-wash or my pre-wash you know because yeah you need to do that sometimes but i always do that when i do my wigs <laughs> So boom, you see that? You see what it's giving? It's giving very much scalp. Like that's what you want. Very much scalp. Like scalp, not scalp, scalp. After washing, I'm going to take a white washcloth and I'm going to put it on to my wig head. That way that I can start my plucking method. And this just helps me to see and make sure that I'm not over plucking the closure. Once again, scalp, scalp, like, you see what it's giving? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just going to put my wig on this wig head and we're going to pin her up and we're going to get the plucking, my girl. Let's give Arrogant Tay Slay by Jordan, like, Let's give them because, yeah, it's 2023, sis. It's time to make it do what it do. Sir, I'm going to start by pushing all of the hair back using my comb. I'm just really pressing firmly into the closure to lay all of the hair back while it is still wet. This is the best time to ever pluck your closure is while your closure or your frontal is still wet. That's the best time for you to pluck. So y'all, it was very hard for me to get this angle, but... I have learned a new plucking method. Um, it is the arrogant tape method where you like skip. So you pluck in one spot and then you skip over and you pluck in the next spot and then you skip over and you pluck in the next spot. And yeah, and like I said, it was very hard for me to get this angle. So I'm going to switch it to a different angle so y'all can really see what I'm doing. But you see how I'm just kind of like plucking and then I'll start to skip over and then I'll pluck again and then I'll skip over and then I'll pluck again and then I'll skip over. And I'm going to leave all this in real time that way that y'all could really see what I was doing. And I was really like taking my time and making sure that... I am um, getting all of those knots out so that I don't have any just random flyaways or just random strands of hair just in random spots like yeah I'm telling y'all this angle was so hard for me it was so weird but I still made it work so I'm gonna let y'all watch what I'm doing because like I said I used a little skip over method and it's gonna take you some time to really see it but I used the skip over method and then I 
um, part the hair, and then I do the skip out method again, then I part the hair, and then I do the skip out method again, um, and which you could just watch to see how I do that, but once I'm done with that, like, I kind of go back into those gaps that I missed, and I just, like, re, um, pluck them, if that makes sense like just to kind of thin them out so that it won't be some big spaces because the first time I tried it like there was some big spaces but it still looked good like it still really looked good her like her wig still gave scalp like yeah it really gave but um I just like made it a little thinner that way it looks more like scalp but I'm gonna let y'all watch because yeah but I had to really take my time because this angle was so hard y'all Sir, I'm gonna start by pushing all of the hair back using my comb. I'm just really pressing firmly into the closure to lay all of the hair back while it is still wet. This is the best time to ever pluck your closure is while your closure or your frontal is still wet. That is the best time for you to pluck. So y'all, it was very hard for me to get this angle, but I have learned a new plucking method. Um, it is the arrogant tape method where you like skip so you pluck in one spot and then you skip over and you pluck in the next spot and then you skip over and you pluck in the next spot. And yeah, like I said, it was very hard for me to get this angle. So I'm going to switch it to a different angle so y'all can really see what I'm doing. But you see how I'm just kind of like plucking and then I'll start to skip over and then I'll pluck again and then I'll skip over and then I'll pluck again and then I'll skip over. And I'm going to leave all this in real time that way that y'all can really see what I was doing. And I was really like taking my time and making sure that... I am um, getting all of those knots out so that I don't have any just random flyaways or just random strands of hair just in random spots like yeah I'm telling y'all this angle was so hard for me it was so weird but I still made it work so I'm gonna let y'all watch what I'm doing because like I said I used the little skip over method and it's gonna take you some time to really see it but I used the skip over method and then I um part the hair and then I do the skip out method again then I part the hair and then I do the skip out method again um and which you could just watch to see how I do that but once I'm done with that like I kind of go back into those gaps that I missed and I just like re um pluck them if that makes sense like just to kind of thin them out so that it won't be some big spaces because the first time I tried it like there was some big spaces but it still looked good like it still really looked good her like her wig still gave scalp like yeah it really gave but um I just like made it a little thinner that way it looks more like scalp but I'm gonna let y'all watch because yeah but I had to really take my time because this angle was so hard y'all
so this is all the hair i got from plucking not much very good next i'm going to take my care care wax stick and i'm going to put that on the hair that way that we can go ahead and hot comb this bad boy right on down and slick her down still her in mm -hmm. so i'm just going to take my hot comb and i'm just going to hot comb this bad boy back because yeah you know what it gives you know the vibes you know the vibes um my hot comb is an electric hot comb i don't know where it's from because it's very very old like older than me like my mom used to use this on me when i was like 10 <laughs> for real like that's how old that is and i'm 22 like it's very old so yeah but it get the job done so next i'm gonna go on with my lot of body um wrap lotion and i'm gonna put that on the hair and i'm just going to run my fingers through it the hair really never tangled up on me like it never tangled up on me like this whole time this is some really good hair and i can vouch because i've had this hair before um if you go watch my 32 inch frontal wig install video this is that same hair it's just in a closure style so for my girls that don't like frontals there is a closure version um and i did brush it out and combed it out and i let her dry shrunk her up and this is how she looks make sure that you guys like this video comment under this video and subscribe to my channel if you are not and i will see you guys in the next freaking video also comment down below any other videos that you guys want to see this summer because we rolling with it baby i love you guys bye Bye.